Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today we are closing out paycheck two and budgeting out paycheck three of September. So let's go ahead and put, fill in the actuals for paycheck two, which was for the ninth last week's. So we did actual 650. So 650 here. No variances, $100, no variances, it was 80, 50, so 50 cents, it was 22, hold on, I can't remember what it was off the top of what the change was, let me get my, my, thing out here it was 27.50 so 29 cents comcast was 60 dollars so no variance there netflix was 16 dollars no variance there rent 200 was put away so no variance all these got 10 dollars So no variances there. <clears throat> what are you doing? The dog is um, like scratching at the um, the couch, like trying to fluff it. So this was seventy nine cents. So, this was actually supposed to be six fifty. So total expenses was six forty nine forty one. This person, I had told this person he, okay, so like there's a person at work who has a name very, very similar to mine. It's the last name is spelled differently. And I told this guy, hey, you, um, you, you know, I think you meant to assign this other person. And he just added me again to this thing. And I'm like, seriously? <laughs> So 10, 20, 30, which was it? Look. Savings was 70. Yeah, and he just added me to the group again after I left it. I'm like, I'm just gonna leave it again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. It's like, okay, I told you, there's no reason for me to be in this group. And then minus 79 cents. So that would be seven. So that would be a variance of 79 cents. This would be zero. This would be 79. And this would be zero. So 79 cents. But yeah, I'm like, you just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it again because there's no reason for me to be in it. <laughs> and I already told you that you probably meant to put the, because the other person is in HR. So I get her like her stuff all the time. And I'm like, um, this is not for me. <laughs> and I think that's who he meant to add. And like, I just told him, you know, this is, you meant this person and he'd gone and done it again. I'm like, you're, you're an idiot. So. Cause it's like a 
client side thing. And so I'm like, um, I don't, I don't, I, I don't need this stuff. Anyway, so, okay. So estimated income is going to be 650. Expenses. Food is going to be $100. Personal spending is going to get $100. Then we're going to get bills. So my inter no, my um, cell phone, $44. Disney Plus is going to be $16. We have rent, it's going to be 200 And then on to sinking funds. So we have auto. It's going to get $10. Medical, $10. Pet, going to get $50. Gifts. Is going to get twenty dollars. Um, let's see, miscellaneous savings and subscriptions, ten dollars. Home and garden. So, um, we have a date for uh, Disney in January. So I think. A majority of uh, I think I'm gonna use my savings challenge money for paying for that trip I my parents are paying for the and this is gonna be a total of 650 so my parents are paying it's for the the room and tickets I just have to pay for the flight and you know um, like travel, travel expenses and things like that. So savings is going to be one ninety. So I'm going to be probably I need to pay for the flight, so I'm probably going to take the money. I probably need to take the money, the cash, and put it in the bank so that I can use it for. To, to pay for my flight. And I want to get it booked for 60 um, soon. I'm waiting um, to see if my friend, um, what, cause my, cause you know, regardless if you buy, you have one occupant or several or four, um, the room costs the same and so i have a couple of friends us i said hey we're my parents are going we're like we're going to disney um if you want to expenses if you want you know to come all you have to do is pay your flight and your ticket your tickets so i'm waiting to see from them when they're gonna fly in so that I can, I have like the 15th through the 20th booked. And um, if I need to move that reservation forward or backwards, depending on when they can come. So like my friend was like, I might be needing to fly in on the 14th. Um, Cause she's coming from the UK. And I was like, well, I can already, always, we can always add on a, a room a night on if we can decide early enough, you know? So that is pretty much my budget. So yeah, the savings challenge money is going to go to travel and then um, any leftover because I wanted, I want to use paycheck five. Um, I, this is a magic month for me. So paycheck five is actually all go, like all $650 is going to go to filling this up so um that should do one two three four five six <laughs> yeah
maybe <laughs> like six different envelopes, depending on which ones I do. I want to try to do the bigger ones um, because I like when I have a big chunk of money, I like to try to do the bigger ones instead of the smaller ones. So that's sort of the plan for the rest of the month. But I we got $80 going in this week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.